16 meters. Roger that. I'm heading back now. Just wanted to oh. get some shots of it. Wow, I'm surprised it's in this good a shape. Is this a suboxic layer? Yes, it is. In this area, the seafloor belongs to Turkey. We have permission from the Turkish government to search for archaeological sites and to document their contents. However, this season, we are not going to be recovering any archaeological artifacts. Thanks Everything for listening in on NautilusLive.org, exactly where we're we exploring it. a shipwreck the past, off the coast of Aureli, Turkey, and the Black Sea. So keep watching. For the purpose of further exploration. For example, we down a little bit. Take a wood okay. sample, if that you look down on bubble cam into yeah. the yeah. hole. We might try to recover an amphora oh. because those can be used also like to determine the era in which <laughs> the ship sank. But we are not treasure hunting. We're not out here to collect stuff off the bottom. We're going to leave everything that we see right where we found it. So now we're in the lower deck of the bow. Remember, we identified this piece, I think, from up top. Let's see if we can't get bubble cam down the hold. you about really yep. that's you're around not on sonar right now because you're too close that's around there. i wonder if the controller pulled that off <coughs> you the fishing nets tangled around it where down at the bottom down at the bottom i wonder if a trawler pulled the railing off maybe this may be what is that is that the crow's nest maybe i meant to set it in <laughs> I think a move on a heading of 120 for 5 meters would be good. Oh, look above you. Look above you. This just looks like another hold. Are you going to keep running down over the center of the wreck? No, I'm just going in a little bit, and then I'm going to come back out. Okay, if you come back to this yeah. side. Okay. We'll going to be coming just right back the way I came out. Next. So this direction is towards the bow, which we've already been. And yeah, that's a lot of damage there. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to go in and check it out. I mean, is this... This is sediment, I guess, I'm seeing inside of here. This, this is the quote-unquote stern part that we looked at last time. So now, these targets that you just took, that's inside yeah. the ship. I wonder if this is part of the decking, maybe. They just got flipped topsy-turvy. Could have been, yeah. End over end, I, I think guess. This is something that was like it, it, so, there's an explosion somewhere. Yeah, I mean, Never. so this looks like railing, and it's not more than a couple of meters off the uh, seafloor, if that. So it's, this guy broke apart pretty good. Very cool. Then we do have we will know how long the ship is. No other we can find. <laughs> right. <laughs> Helpful. For the rudder. Yeah, I'm just coming around. I get a nice little beauty pureting type thing here. What? Yeah, I see actually some of the copper plating you see sailing it? off here. Just making a nice shot. I think on the second post. Yep, calling that Geo. Looks <laughs> like that might be a rudder. That's a rudder. Maybe. It looks like we've got a rudder. That's yep. Let's uh, maybe we zoom in. Well, yeah. Lamp. It's the compass. It's the compass. It certainly is. That's cool. Oh, neat. Wow. 
This might help. This might but help. So the wheel's got to be right here somewhere. It's got, yeah, you would think it's somewhere nearby. <laughs> That's really cool. The face is upside down. Oh, well. We don't know the direction they were last sailing in. Straight to the bottom. I know. It's kind of like an ornate rail, too, isn't it? The banister. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, we have a uh, fan who wrote in copper plating was first used on British Navy ships. Yeah. In May, 19, May 1779. Let's come around know. and get a look at this. Uh, 1779. Okay, thank you. And Navy's right. Do. Yeah. What's uh, what's that depth? Ninety-three point three meters to here. And we're over top of it now, just barely. So 92 meters, you'd clear it. 92. Depth of 92, you'd clear this, which is 18 meters off the seafloor. 